Constant Gray here guys. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to fly a jet and uh, general tactics, tips, and um, stuff like that I can give you guys. This is stuff that I have learned firsthand and that a lot of other people do as well and I am sure this will definitely help you guys out there when you are starting to fly. Um, first off, what I want to talk about is what you can do at the very beginning of a match. What I do is I put on the afterburners and I fly all the way over to uh, where the enemy is with the afterburners on and I try to hook around and catch the enemy jets as they are taking off so I want to come from behind the direction they take off in <clears throat> so I can get right on their tails right in the beginning and hopefully take them out. Um, another helpful thing that I often do in this video is I, um, especially in this map, I duck behind a mountain by my base. What this does is that <clears throat> it breaks the line of sight between me and enemy engineers and enemy anti-air. So if you're coming under a lot of fire, there seems to be like 50 bajillion guys locking onto you every 5 seconds, it might be a good idea to uh, fly behind a mountain if there is one on the map you're playing on as that will definitely get the guys off of you. And another substitute you can do for this if there are no mountains on that map, you can always try to fly to the outer boundaries of the map. And generally you'll be too far away from enemies for them to log on to you, or uh, for it to be that easy for them to log on to you. And it's obviously too far away for anti-air to get you. The next thing I want to talk about is, uh, on this map especially, when I drop people back to my uh, when I duck behind the mountain, I also draw people back to my base if I have something on my tail. So make sure you guys remember that. Sticking around your base is always helpful. Um, I usually uh, go around the map making circles and I always make sure that I come back to my base. So if there's ever a guy on your tail and uh, you just can't lose him, remember to fly around your base because hopefully you have some anti-air guy there. And uh, if he doesn't suck ass, he will sh hopefully uh, get the enemy off your tail. <laughs> and you also want to uh, try as much as you can, really, to avoid the enemy base for that same reason. Um, sometimes you can get away with it if they don't have a very good AA person and he uh, uh, sucks at it. Otherwise, you want to try and stay out of their base because you can get shot down really, really quickly and um, it sucks. And uh, let's see, sometimes when you're flying around you might find yourself uh, alone in the sky, there's not really uh, any other jets in the sky, they don't have any other uh, helicopters flying around, and if you don't have the rocket pods on to directly attack ground forces, what is always helpful to do is to uh, fly around, kind of act as a scout, and um, just alert your team to where enemies are moving and where enemy tanks are heading towards and uh, just try to help out as much as you can in that way uh, it's giving intel to your team and of course if there are other enemy jets on your team uh, enemy jets flying around always make sure that you are uh, checking up on your other pilot that is on your team and make sure that if there is somebody on his tail it's always the uh, the awesome thing to do is to help him get the guy off his tail <clears throat> And I have uh, tried this out a few times, and, what, and from what I've found, it's difficult, but it's definitely doable. If uh, you've come under a lot of fire and you're damaged and you uh, need to heal, you actually can land the jet. It is possible. The uh, best place to do this is um, you want to get someplace inside the general boundaries of the map, or else when you hop out of the jet, you might be out of bounds for a general ground infantry. So you want to make sure you're in a place where you actually hop out and repair. And it's really difficult because going from, you know, super fast in the jet to slowing down takes a bit. You have to apply the brakes by pushing backwards with the S button. So you want to make sure you have plenty of room. You might want to start turning and then turn into a flat spot uh, where you're going to land. And once you do that, you can hop out, repair. It doesn't take too long to repair, so you won't be uh, in danger for too long. 
and then you can get back to taking out enemies. Um, <clears throat> and for evasive maneuvers, this is a big thing, guys. What I generally do is, at any altitude, I will try to get them off my tail by um, just making some steep or really uh, short turns. I do this by uh, usually flying upwards and then catching them off guard and shooting straight down uh, while braking, and that will hopefully throw them off. And when you do go towards the ground, uh, since the guy would be above you, you will go under the view of the horizon. And generally, what that does is it makes it harder for him to see you, especially if he hasn't spotted you. So if there's no orange dot around your jet, that really helps and flares make sure you always pay attention to that um, flares uh, reload really quickly so it's not too much of a pain and usually if they are reloading and I need to shoot them off I just smash the X button and I'm usually fine and another way you can uh, help get jets off your table your table your tail is if you um if you just make some turns it'll take uh, the missile longer for it to get to you as opposed to just flying in a straight line. <laughs> and um, another concern ab about a bunch of people is uh, if you need to get a joystick to be a successful pilot in this game. And from what I've found, you do not need a joystick in order to be um, successful as a pilot, really. I have a high DPI mouse, so if you have one that's really sensitive, it'll work pretty much maybe not just as well, I'm not entirely sure, but it definitely is doable. So remember that, guys. And also, that is probably going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful to you guys. And remember, if uh, this was helpful to you, pressing the like button always helps me out, and I'll be coming out with some more Battlefield 3 stuff, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.